Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial, we'll be talking about two commands namely I am read and I am show. Now, I am read and I am show are commands in Matplotlib image Matplotlib and especially in the image class that help you to uh, read uh, read uh, images as digital data and then show them uh, show them as a plot. So if you have some kind of image and then you want to put them as a plot, let's say, then I am read and I am show. I mean I am read and I am show are helpful. Helpful. Now uh, the way with which I am read works is is that it just takes the data from the image by looking at the colors by looking at the colors in each and every pixel and then splits the color value into an equivalent RGB coordinate system or an RGBA coordinate system uh, RGBA color scheme whichever whichever it is applicable and it stores them as stacks uh, stores them as stacks okay of, uh, of two dimensional arrays okay so as a consequence since the data is available since the image data is available as individual matrices or individual arrays you can actually uh, you can actually with le very less effort do a little bit of image processing and tweaking uh, to all your data to the two year images and uh, in this video i'll also talk about that and uh, let's see how that what can be done with it so for uh, so just to start with I have few images with me. This is actually a lamp image. I took uh, from in a, in a restaurant in a hotel This is actually me in a, I just went to a play. I just went to a, a, to a picnic with a picnic with some of my friends and this is actually a one in a, in a place called as Mecca uh, This is the reason why I took this is because this uh, when compared to this picture Which is actually pretty dark and interesting. This is actually pretty dark and bright this one is pretty uh, bright and contrasting. This is actually a brighter picture. And also, I also have this picture over here. This is actually a standard test picture called as Lena or Lena, which is available on the internet. And people use this image as a reference to, reference image for signal uh, digital signal processing, digital image pro I mean, sorry, digital image processing, and all kinds of uh, image compression algorithm, image compression algorithms, and all. Okay, so. We'll be using these images as examples in our uh, in the program. So to read an image, what you have to do is just import uh, from Matplotlib. Just import this image option, image class as with the name img. You import that. Once you've imported that, what you do is just type i give an image name. Okay, here I specify the image name over here. I'm just specifying the lamp lamp value uh, image file lamp file, and then. Uh, to read the data is fairly simple. I just type img dot im read im read and then you put the image name. Simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. Once you do that, this im data over here, which will have the data of each and every pixel separated into uh, red, green, blue, or red, green, blue coordinates. Okay. Uh, just to make it clear, what I'm going to do is just uh, uh, I'm going to comment out all these lines. Just, I'll just show you about this up to this part. Now when I run this, okay, what I what I what I have here is, <coughs> I have a three-dimensional three-dimensional uh, array, a 3D array. Um, each has values between zero and two fifty two fifty five. Okay, so each how to the, how to read this is that each stack of this array each stack okay has uh, is actually 2d array having some coordinates so if you take this image if you take a, if i just take this image each and every pixel in this image has some kind of a red color coordinate say color and that color can be split into red green blue okay so to uh, to understand this is that to understand this is that for each and every pixel okay the red values go into the red red coordinates I mean the red value go into the stack number zero which is at the bottom the blue green green value of each and every point goes to the stack number one and then the blue value go to the stack number two or it's actually the topmost stack or something like that and uh, if you want to plot an image you have to give the uh, RGB coordinates occur RGB coordinates in that order okay so this is how we go about with it. each uh, one eight one one thousand eight hundred forty cross two three thousand two hundred sixty four mat two D array okay 
is actually a color coordinate the first one the bottom most one is for the reds the above one is for the blue I mean green and the to top most one is for the red sometimes you might get a data wherein you might have an another more one more uh, dimension to it uh, and that the diamond one more stack okay that is for the alpha or uh, the alpha or what do you call as the transparency transparency okay so that's something you might also get once in a while if you have especially have some kind of an image with a little transparency effect very rarely you might very rarely i just have to put this rarely you might get a you might get an image wherein uh, that ha there's no color channel just pure just um, just blur, just a normal one one set data like this just one 2d array data like this these are usually for gray images purely black and white images they'll get these kind of data anyway once you got this once you got this plotting is actually simple what i have here is let me just open up a plot and then i just show this i am show i just, just turn the axis off and put a title and now if i okay i need this color map too although it's not that important over here anyway let's put that color map on uh what what's no oh yeah the space okay oh yeah and then i need the show option at the bottom so what i've done is i've just taken that image and then now i'm just plotting that image okay so when i run this with this particular color map i get my image over here sweet okay so if you look at it this is very similar i mean this is actually the same image as we have uh, have which we had matplotlib did a really good job of extracting the image without much loss of kind of data and if you, you can just have a different color map too although if you just have a clear, plain image like this the color map is not much of uh, use not much of much of use uh, in these uh, in these kind of image uh, plots it's uh, better to take the axis off but if you just uh, if you put the axis on let's say you'll get these number a uh, number axis over here uh, for image i guess it's not necessary it, it may it may be redundant okay so let's take this axis part off Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, let's have let's have a look at uh, my image as to how that turns out to be. Let's run that. There you go. My image came out pretty well over here. Nice. Now let's look at that Lena image or the Lena image. Okay, let's see how that turns out to be. Perfect. It's actually a small image, small image, so it's there might be a little blur. It might be a little blurry here and there, but nevertheless, it's nevertheless it just came out pretty well. Now, what we're going to do is let's just keep this lamp image for now, and then do a little bit of image process, image to, to be image processing. I mean, some basic image processing. So what first, what we can actually do is that we can extract the red, green, and blue component data separately from each one of them. So from this IM data over here, the zeroth la layer corresponds to the coordinate values of red color in each and every pixel. The first layer gives you the coordinates of green values in each and every pixel, whereas the, the la topmost layer gives you the green component of, I mean the blue component of each and every pixel. Okay. Now with these data, with with these info, with these data over here split. Okay, I can actually merge them together to re re recreate the image, and to merge them, it's fairly simple. Uh, just I just have to uh, put, I just have to use this command over here to merge. By default, I, since I already have this data, I don't have to worry about it. Now let's do a little bit of image tweak over here. What happens if I just uh, rearrange the data? Like I have them ordered ordered over here, red, green, blue. What if I just swap the order? So I just put blue first, green second, and then red, red third. Okay, and these two lines are just to make sure that the dimensions are coming out properly, just like what we had in the earlier. Okay, the, that's that's about it. So if we just uh, work this around, what happens is that it will in the in this line it will be three comma five twelve comma five twelve something like that. Okay, if you do the swap axis twice, the swap axis twice uh, it will make sure that the image uh, you you get the image uh, data in such that the three in the the lower di the, the dimension the stacks are actually at the last nothing more okay now let's look at this image so this is actually subplot number the subplot 231 subplot 2 th sorry this is subplot 231 this is subplot 232 
okay now let's look at this image and see what what do we notice and there you go now this is the original image and this is the image after by swapping up the blue swapping up the rgb coordinates and clearly you can see uh, you have a much more of a, a blue dominance over here because we just kept the, kept the blue in the kept blue in the first pretty nice pretty neat huh now is is that is that that's one thing you can do let's add a little more spice to it what i've done here is what i've done here is um okay, i think i should include this uh if you uh well in this line what i've in this line what i've done here is i've taken the green data and multiplied that by a point, factor of 0.5 and made sure that the made sure that the value is still uh, i mean its value is still uh, less than 255 even 256 okay and everywhere i just multiply the green data by 0.5 red data by 0.5 and then blue data by 0.5 and then pass this one as the red coordinate then the second one as the blue co i mean green coordinate and the, this one as the blue um, green i mean bl uh, blue coordinate i'm just keeping the blue as it is but i'm just swapping the red and green coordinates over here and by my, my multiplying or uh, the i mean by making sure that the uh, pixel values are re reduced by half in strength and then the thing is i just uh, after doing all this i just put this as type uh, and put this as unsigned integer 8 the reason why you have to put this is because if you don't then uh, then the values may, the values may not be i mean the values may not be uh, integers they might be float and if you have if the if the actual data the rgb coordinate values are in integers and then uh, if you reconstruct an image and it turns out to be in float then the image turns out the image would be how do I put it? The image would be messed up. Okay, so if now when I run this one, oh, oh, okay, I didn't plot. I didn't let it plot at the bottom. Yes, yeah, so I, I uncommon this line, these lines, and now if I run this, there we go. Now this is the image that we tweaked. <coughs> now you can see there is a bit of there. That's this actually a green shade to it. Nice. Okay, now. Uh, doing a little more let's uh, I mean let's put this to z uh, put this to one put this to one and we'll also put this to one and run this one over here now this is actually brighter by multiplying uh, each uh, each of these square each of these uh, values by 5.5 by reducing the strength as a result the image becomes a little darker and uh, you can also increase the brightness or increase the brightness of these images by increasing by putting a value like these one something like that okay and just okay and if we run this let's see what we get see if you put the image if you put the image value high let's say like 1.5 or something like that what will happen is that you will start getting the spec specs in this in this data that in this image that's because you're crossing the 255 mark you're crossing the 255 mark uh, so it's because everything has become too bright okay so to avoid the spec you just multiply you just take the modulus and push so that the values are always between 256 whatever way you do it and now if i do it i think the spec will go away uh, not much luck anyway anyway the point is by do by just manipulating these values you can just tweak and do something like do do something and uh, for sometimes uh, for the images the coordinates would be in um, instead of between 0 and 255 they might be between 0 and 1 for instance this lina, Im lina image over here for this lina image over here the coordinates would be uh, between 0 and 1 as a consequence uh, okay let's minimize that as a consequence you can directly multiply uh, multiply the values over here and use them so if the rgb values are in float use this kind of a notation if the rgb values are in integers use this kind of a notation <coughs> okay and uh, okay now now let's we since we did that let's look at our lina image over here and this is that uh, this is the original lina image this is the image that we flipped in and this is actually the tweaked lina image that we have and other than that we can also do a few more stuff we have we, we we can just actually uh, just plot just plot all these images 
let's plot all these images uh, with data as images without uh, any uh, in false colors by just by look by just by plotting only the individual values for instance uh, what i've done here is i just uh, use the color map gray and then in the pl lower plots i just uh, show the image image how this image looks like with, with just green data with just I mean red data with just green data and then with just blue data so if you plot this um, with the color bar this is what i get wherever the wherever the um, red 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 pixel value is highest okay uh, it is very high let's say in those pixels will be pretty close to white in this image okay where and if there red if there is hardly any red in the date hardly any red in the image it will be very close to zero or dark over here in the dark in the image likewise if there if the wherever the values are peaking up it will be pretty pretty close to white over here uh, wherever the values are lowest the red the red uh, the red value red uh, pixel value it will be very close to black and similarly in the blue channel this way you can actually uh, get a false color image of false color image uh, of the actual image and then do a little and you can play around with it okay uh, play around with it and if you want a little more of an other instead of having just a plain gray color image you can also use other color maps like hot or uh, just terrain or something like that that also help for instance this is the this is how the false color images look like with if i put the hot color map which act which is which is in which uh, the higher the value they will they tend to white and the lower the value they tend to black okay so this way you can actually have a taken image and then do a little bit of tweaking to do get all this information out uh, this actually helps a lot if you're doing a little bit of image processing to get the image processing and you want to do a little bit of uh, comparison as how has to what hap what's happening and uh, instead of any color maps like these i can also do put some standard color maps like jet or uh, jet okay that will also help the only difference is that if i put a jet color map okay the values they tend to be um, you know they tend to be uh, pretty different they tend to be very different but for image mappings like these for image color maps like these the color maps are actually these kind of a color maps are helpful because you you can you're able, easily able to differentiate them now these images are kind of like the in thermal infrared images it's kind of like that isn't it so these are actually false color images and it actually helps a lot now with all that being said with all that being said uh, that's not the only thing you can do uh, you can also do a histogram plot and get the color distribution uh, color distribution frequent uh, color distribution for instance what i've done at the bottom over here is for this lena image for this lena image uh, or any image for that matter i just took the red data and then uh, I brought the histogram of it with the foreground to be red and the edge colors to be in black similarly i do i repeat the same for the green data and then the black data and if i run this run this so this is my original uh, this is the plot where of the original image the all the tweaked image all the tweak these two are the tweaked images whereas these are the original color maps of the red green blue i mean red i mean original values are the red green blue coordinates over here that we did over here all right and these are the uh, corresponding okay and these are the corresponding uh, histograms for the red colors green color and the blue color pixel values okay and from this from this original image now if you are like some kind of an image pro uh, doing some kind of image processing or image filtering or something like that you can actually devise some algorithms to mean uh, devise some algorithms to cut off values or uh, cut cut certain values off or then do a little bit of smoothing factor or something like that to may uh, to do all the stuff you want and in those kind of cases you may you may have to look at the histogram and then uh, do a little bit of uh, adjustment as per your liking and then you reconstruct the image just like what we did just like what we did and then look at the image again to see how your algorithm or data is working so these are some of the basic things that you can do basic things that you can do and if you want to do a lot more of this kind of uh, this kind of um, um, image processing the pillow library and the open cv library are very helpful there are like 20 of other libraries out, out there you can use them definitely this helps uh, this helps quite a lot all right now that's uh, that's all uh, for you all that's all i have for you all in this video this is actually a simple explanation of the im read and im show options in matplotlib and how you can do a little bit of uh, image processing so image processing uh, 
in this uh, in image processing with these simple commands now in another tutorial next tutorial i'll come up with another interesting topic uh, until then take care